Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build an intruder alarm. Now this was actually suggested by somebody in the comments by the name of the Xbox Gamer, so thank you for the idea. Now before I show you what this contraption is, I just want to let you guys know of a new project that I'm working on. So I am actually creating a redstone tutorial hub on my website. Now the advantage of this hub is that you'll actually be able to see all the tutorials by difficulty. You'll be able to find out if they work on Minecraft Pocket Edition, if they work on Xbox, if they work on certain PC version, all that kind of stuff. There's also a bunch of other features as well, but I won't talk about it. I'll let you guys go ahead and watch the video, so I'll put a card up on the screen right now. Now I'm going to show you what the intruder alarm is. So let's say this is somebody else's house here. I want to go into their house and steal some items, so I'm simply just going to head inside here and start looking around. But as you can see, an alarm has now gone off, and if you are the owner of the house and you are around, you can quickly run back to your house and catch the thief first hand. Now if you're the owner of your house, you can simply just flick this lever to turn it off. Now normally in real life, what you would do is to turn your alarm on, you would normally be leaving at the time you turn it on. So uh, all you have to do to turn this alarm back on is step on this pressure plate, flick the lever, and then walk out the front. Now if you are the homeowner and you just want to enter your house like normally, simply come inside, stand on the pressure plate, turn the alarm off, and then you can continue browsing your house as normal. So how awesome is that? And I'm going to show you guys how you can build this now. So the materials you're going to need is six redstone dust, one redstone repeater, three redstone comparators, three hoppers, one dropper, one sticky piston, one block of redstone, one redstone lamp, two note blocks, one lever, one pressure plate of your choice, I've just gotten a stone one, one button of your choice, I've just gotten a stone one as well, one iron door, and 64 blocks of your choice. Now to position this a whole lot easier, what we're going to do is place down our iron door down first. So go ahead, place that down. Then to the left and the right of the door, we're going to create a two high pillar. So one on the left there and one on the right. We're going to get our button out. And what you want to do is place that on the top left here. It can be anywhere else, but I'm just going to be placing it there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go behind. And what we want to do is one block after the door here, this block right here, we're going to dig out a 4x4x3 four by four by deep hole. So let's go ahead and do that now. So dig out the block you're standing on and then dig 3 to the right. We're then going to dig four, uh, 3 towards the back here, 3 towards the left, and then back to the start. And then we'll have a 4x4 four four hole now. Now you just need to dig this down two more layers. Now you want to come to where we initially dug down and what we want to do is place a block at the bottom here. We then want to place a piece of redstone dust on top and then place another block on top of that redstone and it should look something like this. To the right of this block here what we're going to do is place a dropper facing towards the right. We're then going to lead a hopper into the front face of this dropper here so make sure you're crouching and then just right click the front face of the dropper. To the right of this hopper here we're going to place our sticky piston so come down into this gap here, then face upwards and then place it on this uh, first layer of our hole here facing downwards and then place your block of redstone underneath it. Now coming out of this dropper here we want to place a redstone comparator and we want to detect if there's any items in there so we're going to place a comparator coming out of that. We're going to lead that into a block. On the back of this block place a hopper going into the back side of it and then we're going to destroy the block we just placed and then we're going to place our second hopper um, into this hopper here. So the funnels should be now facing into each other. Before we continue on, what you want to do is chuck one of your blocks of choice into the hoppers here. And you'll see that it will go back and forth between these two hoppers here. Uh, we actually want that in there and I'll get to that in a second. Now come over to over here and what we want to do is place a block before the gap there. So place it like so. And then what we're going to do is place a piece of redstone dust on top of it one coming down and then one coming to the right and it should lead into this hopper here. 
On top of the hoppers we're going to place two redstone dust so make sure you're crouching, place two like so. Coming out of this side of the hoppers we're going to place two redstone comparators. What we then want to do is dig out the two blocks or the four blocks here in front of the uh, comparators. We want to do that one more time and then what you want to do is on these two last ones dig those two out. Um, this is because if we have um, the note blocks above um, on top of a dirt block it won't produce the correct sound. So place your note blocks just above the trench there like so and then we're going to place two of our blocks like that um, in front of the uh, note blocks. Now finally what we want to do is come over to here and we're going to place a uh, block in between this block here and that comparator. We're then going to place a redstone repeater facing, facing towards the back and then on top of this comparator here crouch and then just right click the top and this repeater will be now leading into it and will power this redstone here whenever it's turned on. Now almost done, what we've got to do now is just get our pressure plate out, our lamp and our lever. So simply place your pressure plate on top of this block here just after the door and then on top of the piston here we're going to place a block. We're going to put our lever on the left side like so and then our redstone lamp on top. Now I almost forgot an important step, make sure that you place a block into this dropper down here or the alarm won't work correctly. Now at that point in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this alarm works, so let's go ahead and turn it on now. So we're going to simply step on the pressure plate and then right click the lever here and walk out your door. So now the alarm is live, so if I was to be an intruder, so I go in, I say I go into this person's house here, I step on this pressure plate, it's not going to activate yet, only until um, I actually walk off this pressure plate. Now what this actually does is it sends out a signal into this redstone down below because we've stepped on this pressure plate here. Let me just turn off this uh, alarm for now. So we activate this redstone down here. What this does is it triggers this dropper here, sending out this item into this hopper here. Now if this alarm was on, this redstone block could be down. Um, this redstone block here powers this hopper so it keeps um, this block that we have in the dropper inside of the hopper here. Because there's no longer an item in this dropper here, this will no longer send out a signal through this comparator, which then allows um, the item in here to, to go back and forth between the two hoppers here. Now this redstone here normally wouldn't be on because this block here would be down one block and wouldn't be powering this redstone, so just ignore that. Now when the item's going back and forth between these two hoppers, these comparators here are detecting if there's an item inside of it. So it sends out a signal when there is, and uh, these are connected to two note blocks here, so this uh, creates kind of like an alarm sound and lets you know that there's an intruder in your house. This repeater here, simply as I uh, demonstrated before, when you actually step on this pressure plate here, um, the alarm won't actually trip off until you actually step off that pressure plate and that means somebody is inside your house. Now I'll quickly go ahead and test that again, so we'll go ahead, we'll lock the door, then we'll go back inside, activate the alarm, and then as you can see there is an item in this hopper here, that block, that redstone block is down one, this redstone here is unpowered, um, this comparator here is unpowered which then allows this item hopper to go back and forth, or these, the item in these item hoppers to go back and forth. It sends out a signal to these comparators powering the two note blocks and yeah that's pretty much it. Now you can go ahead and start covering this up, just make sure you place the blocks on the top layer here. So guys, that is going to wrap up this tutorial today. Make sure you go ahead and check out that Redstone Tutorial Hub video I was mentioning at the start. I think it's going to be an awesome way for you guys to be able to learn a Redstone and also as I mentioned the really awesome thing is that it will let you know if this contraption will work on all different platform types. Now remember to hit that like button as well, show your support for this video. If you have any ideas for Redstone Tutorials, let me know down in the comments below and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my latest tutorials and I will see you guys later. Bye.